Ontario's Liberal government will reconsider allowing medical cannabis patients to vape anywhere in the Canadian province, just one day after announcing the change. Last week, medical cannabis users were exempted from a new law banning the use of vaporizers anywhere smoking is prohibited, meaning patients could vape weed almost anywhere, including at work or in restaurants. However, under the new regulation, employers and restaurant owners could still ban medical cannabis use on their property. The law was set to go into effect January 1st, but now the government is backpedaling after some citizens expressed apprehension about public cannabis use. On Saturday, Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne said she has a lot of sympathy with the concerns that have been raised, even though this exemption exists in other jurisdictions, adding that her government will go back to the drawing board on this regulation. Wynne also said she would have a problem with someone vaporizing prescribed cannabis next to her in a movie theater. Quote, I think I would have a problem with it, so I think we need to think this through. But despite the Premier's reluctance, the need for medical cannabis is real. While Wynne may consider it an inconvenience to smell vaporized cannabis during a movie, physical pain is obviously a far greater problem. Moreover, according to Associate Health Minister Depika Demerla, there is no scientific evidence that secondhand cannabis smoke or vapor has negative effects. Regardless, if the provincial government and some loud members of the public are opposed to allowing patients to use their medication in public, why announce the change at all? According to Demerla, the exemption was drafted with the advice of legal counsel and not providing an exemption for medical cannabis patients could raise constitutional issues. She also said that all of these things go through the committee process, and everybody is welcome to come and give their presentations, so everyone would have had that opportunity to present. The minister wouldn't say if the government would finish reconsidering the exemption before the new regulations are implemented January 1st.